Hey, it's Jordan here from Messy Lifestyle, and I've actually been dared to cook for you right now. So this is the first edition of Cooking in My Crazy Household, and I'm just going to walk you through a recipe I just posted on the blog called Beefy Taco Salad, Get In My Belly, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, just so you know, full disclosure, this is a crazy uh, evening night at my house. Uh, my kids might actually come through, knock the camera over, I don't even know what's going to happen. But we're going to have fun and uh, we'll see what happens. But all I do know is that at the end of the day, we're going to have some good food to eat. So for the beefy taco salad, I've got everything here that I need. I'll just go through it real quick. I always need a couple of lemons, ginger, I've got some garlic cloves here for us, uh, avocado, a white onion, some organic baby spinach, preferably if you can get it from the farmer's market, that would be awesome. I've got some spices here. We've got black pepper, sea salt, cilantro, and of course cumin, good stuff. And that's everything we're going to need. And don't really forget, some grass-fed ground beef has to be involved for this to happen. So the first thing we're going to do is throw the grass-fed ground beef on the stove. And we'll get that going. So I've got that going on medium heat. And the first thing I'm going to do while that's cooking is I'm going to add my spices in. So I'm going to add in my cilantro. And I definitely do not measure. So maybe if you do, that's a better situation. Some sea salt. And black pepper. Good to go. So that is sauteing up. Now we're going to go to work on some onions. Before I forget, we want to throw some coconut oil in and get that heated up. This is what I like to use this new Tiva. We order it from uh, iHerb.com, I think. Vitacost. Vitacost, my wife said. That's the best price she's been able to find to actually ship to Hawaii. So it's good organic, extra virgin coconut oil. So I actually use a whole white onion. And right now I'm just going to chop it up for you. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I don't cut my finger off in front of you on live TV, because that would be awkward. I'm actually a trained engineer, so cooking is uh, pretty complicated for me, actually. side until the uh, coconut oil is ready to heat up. So we've got a little bit to go there. So next up I want to get the ginger set up because usually that takes a while for me. I feel like I'm going to cry now. I'm going to cry from these onions just for you.
So for the ginger, I usually just like to peel it and chop off a chunk of it. And I actually have pretty good luck using a garlic tool. These things are pretty sweet if you don't have them, by the way. So I like to add the ginger into the onions while it sautés up. And then we're also going to put some garlic in there as well. So I've got three garlic cloves in here. And what I like to do is just smash them. And they usually let me just peel off the casing. I love the flavor that garlic brings, so I actually use three cloves when I make this. And it seems to bring out more flavor if I use it in the onion instead of just putting it right in the meat. Some more jokes. I could have been, could have entertained you a little more while we were cooking together. But maybe you're actually cooking with me, and that would be less awkward. All right. So we've got the onion, the garlic, and the ginger sautéing up in coconut oil over here. We've also got the grass-fed ground beef with all of our spices, and that's browning up. So I usually like to come in at this point when the pan starts to get hot, and just break it up. So that the heat can start to cook all of it together. Depending on the grass-fed beef that you get, sometimes adding coconut oil can really help if it's not fatty enough. This is 80-20 grass-fed, so there's a lot of fat in it already, so I don't need to add any oil. But a lot of times coconut oil will add a little extra flavor too. Alright, so while those are cooking, now we're going to get to the good stuff, which is our base layer. Now, what we're going to do is take our organic spinach that we have here. Get it in this bowl. And this is where the secret flavor comes from. The lemons. And I've actually got a lemon here that just came out of our lemon tree in the backyard, so I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know if it's really ripe yet. Though. Seems like it's okay. I usually try to work the seeds out because I really hate it when they get in my salad. But also, if you squeeze them upside down, the juices will run down through your hand and you won't get the seeds in there. I think my wife taught me that. I can't take credit for it. Alright, so we're going to toss this up with all that lemon juice in there. And then the next thing we need is a little bit of uh, organic olive oil as well. And then also some sea salt. And that's it for the dressing for the base layer salad. So we're just going to toss that up and let it sit over to the side. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. So 
Because really the thing is, I ate for about three years and my food tasted like garbage. Honestly, I didn't put any flavor in anything. It's only recently that I started to actually use things like ginger, use things like garlic, and actually have food that, uh, that tasted good, that I had cravings for. So this is pretty fun for me now. I think my wife appreciates it too, but you'd have to ask her probably. So now we're going to do the avocado. This is the topping, which is my favorite part. So when you get really good at eating avocados every day, you can learn all the cool tricks. This one isn't as ripe, so it's going to be more of a pain, but if you just slice it down the middle like that, and then you don't want that top seed to come off there, so you can just go like this, it falls perfectly into the bowl, all sliced up. Another cool thing that I learned from my cousin who works at a Japanese uh, sushi restaurant is you can take a big knife like this and give this seed a whack. Ah, oh, see, I screwed it up on live TV. If you're good, like a Japanese sushi chef, you can whack that and pull it right out in one swift motion and, and look all Rico Suave, but I definitely did not. I just looked like a big dork, but that's cool. That's kind of what I really am anyways. So this is going to be our guacamole that we put on top, and we got a couple more lemons that we have to put in there. You can use limes too, but I don't have any right now, so we're going with lemons. At this point, this is a really, um, this avocado wasn't very ripe, so I gotta cut it up really fine. You know when you get those avocados that are really ripe, you can just mush them right in there. That's not happening really. But don't forget the sea salt. Just a little bit in there. So now we got our topping ready, we got our base layer spinach salad ready. All we have left to do is cook the meat. Alright, now some of you may know that because of my auto immunity, I'm still avoiding nightshades right now, uh, which includes tomatoes, but I'm actually going to dish up this plate for my wife. She loves tomatoes, so I'm going to put some on there. We don't have any real tomatoes, so I'm just going to cut up these cherry tomatoes. Actually, they're sweet, sweet tomatoes. And I'm going to put those on her plate. Plus it makes it look cool. Isn't movie magic cool? I can make myself speed up and cook really, really fast so you don't have to have all these boring, awkward pauses while I'm cooking and you're just sitting there. So I sped everything up and everything is just about ready. So I wanted to show you how I lay this out. So typically I will just lay a bed of the spinach on the plate. And I'm just learning that the art of presenting food is really cool. 
and I know nothing about it, but it's kind of interesting. So from there, I will just lay some of the ground meat on top of the salad. Here we have our onions, garlic, and ginger. Just spread some of that on there. It's also got the coconut oil in there, so I'm making sure to grab a lot of that oil. And then for my wife, I'm also going to throw on these tomatoes that we cut up. So this guacamole becomes the topic. And there you have it. Whoa, that was a cool trick. Okay, that was so cool. I'm gonna bring you all the way up so you can see it. All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna let you go so I can go eat this because it looks amazing. But I just want to say thanks for hanging out for the uh, crazy cooking evening uh, over at our house. Uh, I was extremely nervous and dared to do this, so hopefully it was uh, pretty fun for you. If you like this, uh, leave a comment below the video. Let me know. I'll make some more. We'll have some more fun. Maybe the kids will stop by next time and say hi. Well, this has been Jordan Reasoner from SCLifestyle.com. We'll talk to you again soon.